This tip uses the unused space above your garage door as a wood or pipe material storage space. I use the overhead rafters to support all thread rod and I do that in three places. You see my laser pointer, I have a red laser pointer. This is all thread rod. So these two are spaced between just two of the overhead uh, roof support trusses. So those are 24 inches apart and then 48 inches from the last one or six feet from the first one, there's another one. If you see the laser pointer down there, I'm just hitting it. That's the, the third one. So I can support a four foot board here with these two and then the six foot total. So it's designed for an eight foot piece, but it goes all the way to the, to the wall here on this particular one. And so it can support a 10 foot two by four up here. And notice I've left room on the end of the assembly on the, so I have one um, full car width that I can get wood down because it's, it's in between the wall, which is right here and the support piece, the, all, the half inch all thread rod is here. So I need room to get the, the wood down this way, but I also have room on the end for larger pieces. To, to go on here that aren't behind the all thread rod. So to give you another angle, you can see from this angle that my wood will clear my garage door opener by a couple of inches. You can see the all thread rod where I've put a washer and then nutted it here on the ceiling, on my paneling ceiling. And then I've got a washer and a nut above my two by four here and then a washer and a nut here. Uh, I would recommend you double nut that right there. It's double nutted above the two by four. So above this paneling, there's another washer and a nut. And then above that, a washer and a nut before the two two by fours, and then a washer and then double nutting up above. And then from this angle, you can see under my uh, Explorer roof rack, you can see Right here, you can see the other all thread rod and then the two by six, it's over on this side. So I decided to use a two by six on this side to support the longer stuff. Let me draw this for you quick. I have two 10 foot two by fours that I lay together and then screw and glue them together. I lay them across the roof trusses and then screw them to the bottom cord of each of the roof trusses. Then in the black pen, I draw my all thread rod and then washers. So these are my two two by four by 10 foot uh, members that I add one on top of each other. I screw and glue them together. I would also add another member here. If you don't have something tying the bottom cord and the top cord together, I'd add another member and I'd use plywood as a web splice piece and then shut deck screws into the bottom cord, the top cord, and the new member. This roof truss is a system and it's designed to load as one continuous member, but it's not designed for having load on this bottom cord exclusively by itself. It's really designed to load the top cord. So that's why I would tie this together. Well, that is the tip. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please subscribe. I look forward to your comments.